Hi, everybody. Wow, how wonderful. It's so, I'm really honored to see you all. And, um, and I'm really grateful to the Millennium Sage and Kennedy Center for providing safe spaces for people to gather again in the name of music. So I'm very grateful to all of you. Thank you. I also want to um, give a shout out to everybody who's watching it on the live streaming. So, <laughs> that's my greeting. Um, so we say, my grandpa would say, Halito! Halito! Shimichukuma! Shimichukuma! That means, what's up? <laughs> All right. Um, joining me tonight um, on violin is Mr. Charlie Burnham. <laughs> and on piano, uh, my partner in crime, my collaborator, co-writer, co-producer, co-creator of everything, and also my husband of 29 years on piano, Aaron Whitby. And we have to give another round of applause because um, about a week and a half ago, Aaron just became an American citizen. Now I really can't get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do tonight is just play you some songs. And we, this is congregational music, so we're going to have church claps and you know, call and response if I feel like it. But don't be shy. We're just here to have a good time. All right? All righty. Um, thank you to everyone who's coming out here and seeing me, meeting me for the first time, because I'm definitely meeting you for the first time as well. And, um, and I'm really grateful to all of you who kind of looked me up and, and saw our Tiny Desk concert on YouTube. And that was a really um, very special and profound time for us. Um, as you know, we were all in the pandemic and um, musicians were hit really hard. We all watched our gigs disappear overnight and we're left scrambling for a place to share our music. You know, our livelihood relies on the gathering of people. And so once you cut that out, we're just in rehearsal, right? So we're really grateful to be in this space as well. Uh, the last time I was here at Kennedy Center, I had the honor of performing on stage with uh, Renee Fleming for the Coal and Ice exhibit, also with um, Bela Fleck and Abigail Washburn and Sandeep, um, and Sandeep, uh, Sandeep, I can't remember his last name, but Sandeep, you know who I'm talking about. And um, it was really wonderful. It was really, really amazing time. And so I'm really grateful to be back here again. All right, the first song we're gonna do is a song that um, is about the civil rights era. And it's one of these songs, you know, as a songwriter, there are songs that you wish you had written and songs that come to you in gifts and dreams and things, and this was a gift from, to the world, from Paul McCartney, who was inspired by the civil rights movement and two African-American women. And so he uh, wrote this song called Blackbird, which most people know very well. But I was thinking, how could I interpret Blackbird? He wrote that in a time, I guess in, when did he write that? In the 70s, early 70s, right, Aaron? In the 60s, yeah, in the 60s. And so I was thinking, how can I do it as a black woman, you know, in the 21st century? And so he's writing it from the position of a man with privilege, having empathy and compassion for the struggle. And so me, as a woman of color, I have to sing it in the spirit of resilience and determination and um, how far we've come, celebration of how far we've come. So that's the energy that I'm singing it with you, to you, and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Singing in the dead of night 
Could we have more of my voice in the piano monitor, please? For once, he wants more of me instead of having enough of me. <laughs> <laughs> I got to take it whenever I can, right?
Um, Aaron and I, um, well, we're not only just uh, we're not only a songwriting team, and but we are also a composer team, and we're really honored to uh, have had this wonderful opportunity. There's a couple of opportunities that we've had. Um, one was uh, the composer team uh, writing the original score and music for, for colored girls uh, who have considered suicide when the rainbow is enough by Ntozaki Shange. Do you all know Ntozaki's work? Do you all know that piece? So that was at, we did that at the public theater back in 2019, just before the pandemic. And, um, and we won a Drama Desk Award for our, our original score which is amazing, and an Adelco <laughs> Award as well. And so fast forward to this past uh, spring and summer, and we were the composer team for For Colored Girls on Broadway this year as well. So yes, thank you so much. And the play, and the play was nominated, got nominated for seven Tony Awards. We didn't win anything, but we felt that we won as soon as we had the opportunity to go to Broadway. So we feel very blessed to be a composer team for that. So I just wanted to share that with you. We also um, have the honor of uh, developing a piece uh, at the public theater uh, called Bone Hill. And um, this is one of the songs from Bone Hill. This is a, the story is a, a tribute to my family in Appalachia. So I'm from Harlan County, Kentucky. And I was raised by my grandparents. Who's from Harlan County? Kentucky. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> Kentucky gets a bad rap these days, but I, the land is really beautiful. And I wanted to celebrate uh, my family and my grandparents who, who helped raise me. And, um, and so we talk about our struggle. We go through four gener generations of the women in the family. And, um, and they're really beautiful songs. And so um, this is one of the songs from it. This song is called 40 Wheels. It's a story about the Trail of Tears, or what we call back home the long walk. That's what my grandma. I can teach you, because I need a little help singing the vocable. So we have vocables, and our vocables, what a lot of people call chants, chanting. And, but really, we call them vocables. And vocables was a way for American Indians who gather together for, in powwows and all socials to come from all different places, all the 574 federally recognized tribes and 62 state recognized tribes and the, up to 400 or more I'm waiting to be recognized. This is a way for all of these languages and, and cultures to get together and to sing without having to learn each other's language. So when you often hear, ya, hey ya, way ya, there's no, there's no translation. It's kind of like jazz scatting, you know, like Ella Fitzgerald would be like, you believe, you believe, so you just sing the melody. So here's my melody and you can sing along with it when you hear it. We ya hey ya Oh come on, we can't win no wars with that kind of lame singing. We ya hey ya That's my backup. We ya hey ya We ya hey ya Ha 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 ho so that's how we do it. And so I'm going to put it together. Listen to this, and you sing along, all right? We ya hey ya ha, we ya hey ya ha, we ya hey ya we ya hey. Sorry, one more, one more time, guys. One, two, three. We ya hey ya ha, we ya hey ya ha, we ya hey. Song, 40 
in our peaceful little world of Appalachia. People dwell how sweet the silence in the still of our lows we the calling of our love. Coming and my people ride Walking, walking 900 miles walking 900 miles walking It was way up high My great mamma cried When the cavalry took a thousand lives Walking, walking
Thank you. Okay, so we're in DC. Did everybody vote yesterday? Okay. <laughs> so I posted on my page um, this particular song. Uh, during the pandemic, uh, they had to act out the vote. It was a, a big campaign for the theater um, world. And, um, and it was a really wonderful way for everybody in theater, all the creatives, to come together and, and make music um, to encourage people to vote. And so um, this particular song, uh, called Talk About It, is a prayer uh, for better communication in the world and empathy and compassion. And, um, and so my friend, my big sister, Sunny Moreno, and I, Sunny Moreno is from the a cappella um, Native American acapella group, Yulali. And uh, so Sunny and I recorded this song, made a video using my, this very same cell phone <laughs> and uh, stuck it on a selfie stick and walked around New York City. And, and we had a bunch of friends who came forward and helped direct it and edited it and everything. And, it, and it's on my uh, Instagram. I posted it yesterday in the spirit of encouraging everyone to vote. <clears throat> So this is called Talk About It.
No open doors. Sad to watch. Make you cry. We're too young to die. figuring out our set list. <laughs> we go by the energy in the room. How's everybody doing? The claps sound good. Y'all want to do some church claps? <laughs> All right. So you got to sing. This is a, um, I've always wanted to be in DC and to sing this song called Long Walk to DC. Um, this song is uh, a song that was it's an oldie but a goodie, and it goes way back. It's from 1964, before my time, of course. <laughs> but um, this uh, song was recorded by the Staples Singers, and Mavis Staples is one of my favorite singers on the planet. And so um, it's about, and, and I think in the spirit of the elections and, and the midterms this week and stuff, I think it's, it's fun to sing. And because um, we're out here trying to make change and trying to make the world a better place after this, this crazy time we've been in. So here's your singing part. It's a long walk to DC. It's a long walk to DC. Yeah. Ooh, okay. It's a long walk to DC. Remember, friends, don't let friends clap on one and three. <laughs> That's it. It's a long walk to DC, but I got my walking shoes on. Can't take a plane, pass the train, cause my money ain't that long. America, be Oh, that you love us still. Oh. So, people, I'm gonna be yonder to wipe away my tears. I said, It's a long walk to DC. What? That's right, it's a long walk to DC. What? Sing with me, it's a long walk to DC. I tell you, it's a long but I know I'll make it someday. That sounds really good, I know it's a whole lot of rocks and rips till I make it there. Should have been gone on yesterday, but today I'm leaving here. I gotta die to buy some 
some coffee gotta another die. night to buy me a cake. Oh, yes, okay. I gotta see the president. No matter how long it takes, it's a long walk to DC. What? That's right, it's a long walk to DC. True congregation. No. Turn this into church. You might recognize this song. And this song is by the great, late great Woody Guthrie. Who's any Woody Guthrie fans here? And I sing this. <clears throat> All right, everybody. How's everybody feeling? Y'all gotta let it rip. I know the bar is a long way away. <laughs> if y'all feeling good, let me hear you say yeah. If y'all feeling this music, let me hear you say, yeah. Let me hear you say, well, 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 yeah, yeah, well. Shut up, love, 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 love. So, you know, in Kentucky, we live, I grew up next door to a church. And so they would have revival. And we used to go whenever they had revival and um, if you we weren't allowed to laugh when anybody caught the Holy Ghost and so <clears throat> my grandmother would say y'all better not laugh when they start shouting they catch the Holy Ghost so whenever somebody went and someone ran to the wall as soon as that happened my grandmother would look at us and we would go <laughs> every time 
Every time someone's like, choo, someone was doing cartwheels and running up the wall and scratching and everything. And every time that, she'd look at us. And we were like. <laughs> so I remember that. So that's the spirit of what I'm doing. Mr. Woody Guthrie, too. And I need your shouts again. Let me hear you say, yeah! This train is bound for glory. This train, y'all know this song. Let me hear you say, Yeah. This train.
Laverne, I'm on fiddle. And with me on piano. And Martha Redbone falling on the floor. This is a song that um, Aaron and I wrote back in 19, what do you call it? <laughs> so one day, back in the Stone Ages, Aaron and I were sitting around working on some music and we realized that there were a lot of a um, lot of songs, a lot of hit songs on the radio that are at this tempo, you know. You see songs this tempo is kind of like, you know, music executive toe tapping speed, you know. Check writing speed. <laughs> and we we're thinking of all these different songs that fall under this vibe that were big, big hits. <clears throat> like, um, uh, she was a black-haired beauty with big dark eyes. Y'all don't know that song? Y'all ain't from Kentucky. I know one person clap. One from Kentucky. How about Sitting on the dock of the bay. Right. And then what else was on this tempo? Oh, I know. Stop, hey, what's the next? Everybody, look what's going down. Right? Or how about? Well, it was just my imagination. write a song at this tempo and make a bunch of money. <laughs> so we did. And so um, I dedicate this song to my dad and to us because Aaron and I are grassroots artists, community-based artists, and made a conscious effort to stay independent um, so that we could champion causes that we believe in. And that's what we do arts and education and cultural preservation, mentor, you know, mentoring through music. And um, we've made a really nice life for ourselves for the past 30 years, so we feel very, very blessed. <clears throat> and so this song is dedicated to Aaron and me and to any of you who might be thinking or know someone who's gone through tough times. And after the past two years, I think we have to say a little prayer for ourselves too, right? So this song is called Underdog. <clears throat> Some days it feels like there's a heaven up above. I never want it to end, cause I just can't get enough. Some days there are none, I mean, Nobody, no one got a pocket full of dust, and I'm gambling on a lone star. Ooh, but ain't it funny how the world can get to you? 
get lucky sometimes. They say every cloud has got that silver lining around it. Mine just needs a little dusting off. And we are the underdog. And we are the fighters getting ready for that next round. Some ways it feels just like walking down the road. I don't remember where I began, and I don't know where the ending is. And some days I talk to strangers who can't hear me, and my money is where my mouth is. But I guess I was born away way too soon. Thank you. Charlie Burnham on violin. Aaron Whitby on piano. Thank you so much for allowing us to share our music with you and a little bit of storytelling. Find me on Instagram, click like. They won't give me a blue check mark until I have so many. That's what they tell me. Tell all your friends. Thank you so much. You must not fall.
forget me when I'm long gone Because I loved you so dearly Sugar honey Without, without, without you Hey, without you You must not forget me when I'm long gone because I loved you for 60 minutes so dearly. The widow, the widow, the widow, yo, hey, the widow, yo, the widow, the widow, yo. I taught you, Osta Daddy, please. Osta la nitua. Remember that? Well, I'm walking to the east, and everything is beautiful. I'm walking to the south, and everything is beautiful. I'm walking to the west, and everything is beautiful. I'm walking to the north, and everything is beautiful. sound crew for making us sound pretty. Well, let's hear it one more time for Martha Redbone and the Roots Project. Yeah. 